Good afternoon, learners. Welcome back to Teaching in Room 9, our region's largest classroom. My name is Julia. I'm a second grade teacher at the Soulard School. And here for Teaching in Room 9, my lessons focus on letters and sounds. Welcome back, friends. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to be here with me. I'm so excited I get the chance to do some learning with you. Let's go ahead and get started. As always, we love to see our learners at home following along with us. So feel free to have your grown up take a picture or a video of you following along at home, and then they can post it online and hashtag 9PBS. All right, friends, as always, we're going to start with our mindful moment exercise. This will get our bodies and our brains ready to learn here together. We're going to do that by taking some deep breaths here together. And as we do that, we'll take a moment to think about kindness and how we can spread it to others. Do you have any fall leaves at or around your home? If so, go ahead and grab a few leaves and get something to write with. We'll be writing on the leaves. So I'm choosing to write with a Sharpie. So that way the, the writing doesn't come off as easily. But make sure you ask permission before grabbing your writing utensil. I'll give you a moment to get your leaves and something to write with. All right, friends, as you're making your way back with your leaves and something to write with, we're gonna start by taking some deep breaths. So go ahead and sit up nice and straight and tall, shoulders back, and you're slowly gonna breathe in through your nose, counting to three, and out through your mouth, counting to three. Let's go ahead and start. And breathe out. Very good, breathe in. And out. Nicely done. Keep taking those deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to think about being kind. How does it feel when someone is kind to you? Can you think of a memory of a time when someone was kind to you? Have you ever shown kindness to someone else? How do you think that made them feel? Keep taking those deep breaths in and out, slowly breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. I want you to think of something kind that you can write on each of your fall leaves. This could be a kind word, a message, or a drawing. I have three leaves here with me. So on my first leaf, I'm going to write the word smile and put a smiley face. My second leaf, I'm gonna write the words you are loved and add a heart. And then because we're talking about kindness, I'm gonna write be kind on the last leaf. So when you are ready, we're gonna write our notes on our leaves. Feel free to use my ideas or come up with ideas of your own. Then we'll take our leaves and put them back outside. Hopefully someone will find them and it will help to brighten their day. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen real quick. If you are coming up with your own ideas, uh, just think about the letters and sounds you hear as best you can and write them on your leaf. So my first leaf, like I said, I wrote the word smile. Let's think about the sounds. S-M-I-O. And magic E makes that I make its long vowel sound, I, instead of the short vowel sound, I. So I have the word smile and I add my smiley face. Then I wrote, you are loved. Got some sight words there, Y-O-U-A-R-E, and then loved, L-O-V-E-D. And I have a heart at the end. And lastly, I wrote the words, be kind. And I have the uh, heart there as well. Here's my sounds, b, e, k, i, n, d. All right, I'm wondering what you came up with for your leaves. 
Maybe there's some of the same ones that I came up with. And then when we're all done learning here together, feel free to take your leaves and put them back outside. All right, friends. I hope you enjoyed doing that leave kindness activity. It's good to take a moment sometimes and stop and think about how you can be kind to someone else. Showing someone else that kindness really helps to brighten their day. And then they'll, it'll be more likely that they will be kind to someone else. All right, now that our bodies are ready to learn, let's take a moment to talk about getting ready to learn at school. We wanna give ourselves all the right tools to be able to learn our best. So far together, we talked about being in a smart spot that is away from any distractions that might take away from our learning. Are you in a smart spot right now? Then we talked about body basics or whole body listening. This is what our body looks like and what it should be doing when it is time to listen and learn. This could be when we're seated in a chair, at the carpet for circle time, in a line ready to leave the classroom, or any time the teacher is asking you to listen or maybe about to give a direction. Whole body listening might look a little different for each person, depending on what their bodies and brains need to focus. But it is important to show the speaker who's talking that we want to hear their words and that way it helps them to feel respected and cared for. Then we started talking about so many problem solving solutions. When we're at school and we're learning together with our friends, sometimes you might have really big feelings and that might cause us to get into an argument with a classmate. We just wanna have the right tools to work through these issues in a way that is safe and respectful for all. Some strategies we talked about were all the different ways to use our words. We could use our words to ask a friend for a turn with something. So this could help with turn taking or sharing classroom materials. You can use your words to say, please stop if someone's doing a behavior that you don't like. You can use your words to apologize if you've hurt someone's feelings or use your words to say how you are feeling. And that helps you work through a conflict. Today, I wanted to talk about some calm down strategies. You can use these at home or in the classroom when you start to feel a little overwhelmed by big feelings. These strategies will help you to recenter your body and brain in order to help you feel more calm and ready to learn. So I'm gonna share my screen to show you the few that we'll talk about today. All right, so you can see it says here, I can calm down. And it looks like this friend is choosing the calm down strategy of taking deep breaths. That's a wonderful strategy. So in a lot of classrooms, you might find a calm down kit or a calm down corner or cozy corner that gives you tools to help work through those big feelings. Uh, so one strategy is to squeeze something. You might have a tool in that corner or in one of your kits at school, or you can always ask a teacher if there is something that you could squeeze. This might be a ball, some Play-Doh, squeezing your hands together, but squeezing helps to kind of get out some of that energy and work through those feelings. This strategy is to count. Looks like this friend is counting to 10 or counting down from 10. When I like to use this strategy, I always take deep breaths as I count. And that helps me be present in the moment, only thinking about counting and breathing. Then I feel more ready to learn. And the last one we'll talk about today is asking to jump. Um, some schools or classrooms might have a trampoline that you could use. Um, if not, that's okay too. Just ask your teacher, where is a safe space that I could maybe jump a little bit to get out some of that energy and work through the feelings you might have? All right, stop sharing my screen. All right, now that we've prepared our bodies and our brains to learn, and we reviewed some tools to help us be successful when we're learning in school, now we're ready to learn. As I mentioned, we're here to talk about letters and sounds. We have practiced working our way through the alphabet, learning all of our letter sounds. Then we practice being able to listen to a word and just pick out the beginning sound and the ending sound. Then we focused on listening for and making rhyming words. Uh, today, our learning goal, our objective is 
I can. Can you say that with me? I can. Nice and loud. Review and practice my letters and sounds. Very good learners, I'm so proud of you. And we're gonna do that today by playing some games here together. All right, let's go ahead and review what we've talked about. First together, we talked about the difference between a letter, a word, and a sentence. Then we talked about all the different parts of a book. And we practice our different letter sounds. Let's go ahead and review our letter sounds here together. Uh, if you feel comfortable, try to sing them with me or just say the sounds if you know them. And remember, some letters have more than one sound. The A says A, 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 and it says A, 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 A. The B says B, 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 and C says K. And it says s, 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 s. the D says d, 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 and E says a, 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 and it says e, 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 e. The F says and G says g, 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 and it says j, 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 j. The H says. And I says it, 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 and it says I, 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 I. The J says J, 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 and K says K, 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 and L says O, 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 and M says mm. The N says mm, 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 mm. and O says ah, 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 and it says O, 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 O. The P says p, 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 and Q says qua, 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 and R says er, 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 er. The S says s, 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 and it says z, 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 and T says t, 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 t. The U says ah, 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 and it says you, 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 and V says mm, 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 mm. W says wa, the X says x, 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 and Y says ya, 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 and it says it, and E, and I, and Z says That was incredible, learners. I am so proud of you. Were you able to say a lot of those letter sounds with me? I'm so proud of you. So as we said, We've got certain letters like our vowels that make a short and a long vowel sound. Some letters like C and G have a hard sound and a soft sound. The letter S sometimes makes the Z sound at the end of a word. And as we heard, the letter Y makes a lot of sounds too. All right, let's go ahead to and warm up our brains. So go ahead and tickle those brains, get them ready to learn and practice some of the other skills we learned together. Uh, we had a song that helped us to learn and understand rhyming words. Let's see if you can sing it along with me. Rhyming words are words that have the same sounds. They have to end in the same way. Rhyming words have the same vowel sound and the same sounds at the very end. Very good. I can tell some of you remember that song. So we've talked about rhyming words. They have the same vowel sound and the same sounds that come after it. So let's look at our chart right here and practice some examples. Can you say these words with me? Bug slug. Very good. So the rhyme in bug and slug is the short U, uh, and the g, g sound that comes at the end. So our rhyme in bug and slug is the ug. Can you say that? Bug, slug, ug. <laughs> Very good. Let's practice another one. See if you can help me find the rhymes in each word pair. Say the words camp, lamp. Very good. Do you know what the rhyme is? Yeah, amp is our rhyme. At is our vowel. Mp are the sounds that come after. So amp is our rhyme. Very good. Say these words with me, friends. 
fire wire. Good. What's our rhyme? Ire. Very good. Say night light. Good. And our rhyme is it. Very good. You got a long vowel sound i and t that comes afterwards. Our last ones here are tree b. Very good. What's our rhyme in tree and b? Yeah, e is our rhyme. Very good. All right, now I'm going to give you the rhyme. So again, the vowel sound and the sounds that come after, and you are going to shout out nice and loud a word that rhymes with it. These can be real words or nonsense words, words that are made up. All right, are you ready to try? Here's your rhyme. Ash. What's something that rhymes with ash? Ooh, I'm hearing some really good ones. Yeah, I heard some friends say words like rash, sash, crash, trash, and dash. Very good. Let's try another one. Your rhyme is each. What rhymes? Very good. Teach, beach, peach, bleach, and all those wonderful nonsense words too. Nicely done. Now let's practice our beginning and ending sounds. I'm going to say a word. You repeat it. Then this time you're going to give me just the very beginning sound, the first sound you hear. Let's practice. Say the word baby. Good. And what's the first sound you hear in baby? B. B. Very good. Make sure you're giving me the sound B and not the letter B. Very good. Say the word color. What's the first sound you hear? K -k. Yeah, that hard C sound. Very good. Say the word dollar. Now the first sound you hear is D. D. Very good. Say the word five. And what's the first sound you hear? Very good. Last one, say the word money. And the first sound you hear is? Mm, very good. All right, let's switch it up. Now, you're not going to tell me the first sound. You're going to tell me the very last sound. Not the rhyme, just the very last sound you hear. Let's practice. Say the word roof. Good. And the last sound you hear is? Very good. Let's try another one. Say the word home. Good. And what's the last sound you hear in home? Hmm. Very good. Uh, say the word fun. And the last sound you hear is? Hmm. Amazing. Uh, say the word skip. Yeah. And the last sound you hear is? Very good. Last one. Say the word mad. And the last sound you hear is d, d. Very good. I am so proud of you, friends. You are amazing. All right, now it's time to play our games together. Can I get a me too or a yes or a no if you've ever played the game I spy? Yeah, I figured some of my friends have probably played that game before. So I'm going to share my screen really quick. And we are going to play I Spy. All right. So you can see this says I Spy A. The A says A, 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 and it says A, 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 A. So the two sounds you're looking for are pictures that are making the A and the A sound. And I can see here too, I've got five stars. That means there are five pictures that we need to find here. All right, shout it out for me, friends. What's a picture that starts with the A or the A sound? Ooh, very good. I heard a friend already say A, A, Apple. And cross out one of our stars. That shows we found one of our pictures. So if I have one star, that means I have one, two, three, four left. What's another picture that starts with A or A? Oh, good. I see someone said an A, A ambulance. 
Very good. Okay, if I have five stars and I found two, how many do I have left? You are so smart, friends. Kiss your brains. That was amazing. Three pictures left. What's another one that starts with A or A? Oh, very good. You might see these in fall. And A, A, A corn. There's that long A sound. Okay. How many do I have left? Good. I found three. I have two left. Oh, very good. I'm impressed. A friend said an anchor. An anchor on a ship has that long A sound. How many pictures do I have left now? Just one, very good. What's our last picture? Do you see it? Oh, very good. I know it was a little tricky. Some friends might have thought b b bug, but this is more specifically an a ah, a ah, ant. Yay, we found all five pictures. Let's play my I spy again with some different letters here. Okay, so now this time I spy D. What sound does D make? Shout it out. The D says D, 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 D. Very good. What's a picture that you see here? Let's check in with our stars. One, two, three, four, five again. Okay, so we're looking for five pictures. What do you see that starts with the D sound? Yeah, I see one right in front here, kind of right in the middle, a d, d dog. Very good. What else do you see? Oh, very good. I know this picture is making me so hungry. A d, d donut. Very good. Okay, I found two pictures out of the five. How many pictures do I have left? Yeah, very good. Three left. What else do you see? Good. A eh? d d drum. Amazing. All right. I found three. I have two left. Okay. What do you see? Not t -t turtle or a k -k kiwi. Oh, I heard a friend say right here, d d die or dice. Absolutely. All right, I had five stars. We found four pictures. How many do I have left? Just one. What's the last d d picture you see here? Oh, very good. This little d d dragon. Very good. Let me hear your best fire breathing dragon. Rawr! Very good, my dragons. All right, we're going to switch it up now, friends. This time we're going to play a game where you have letter cards and um, another pile of cards. And as we turn it over, we're going to see if we find matching pictures. Okay, so here, what letter do I have? Yeah, R. R says, er, very good. Okay, let's flip it over and see if we have a match. Let's see how many matches we can get. Whoop. All right, what's our picture of? Yeah, a er, er, rabbit. Very good. Might be a little tricky. You might think a b b bunny, but this is a rabbit and it matches our er card. Yay, we have one match. Okay, what's our next letter here? Yeah, this is the k k k. All right, let's flip over our card, see if we have a match. Do we have a match? No, this is a house or a home. That starts with a H. Hey, no match there. All right, what's this letter here? Very good. This is a qu qu Q. Let's see if we have a match here. All right. Qu 
Well, what's our picture of? Yeah, this is a queen. We do have a match. Yay, Q, qua, queen. Okay, here I have, what letter is this? Good, I says it, 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 or I, I, I. All right, flip it over. Do I have a match here? No, I found a picture of a d, d, dog. So it doesn't match with the I or the I. Bummer. Okay, let's see. Do I have a match here? Flip it over. Okay, what letter is this, friends? Mmm, very good. The M says mmm. And what's my picture of? A mouse. I have a match. Ooh, all of those have the mmm sound. My mm mouse and my mm match. Very good. All right. Here I have what letter? O says ah, 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 or O, O, O. Does it match with this picture of a k -k kite? No, unfortunately not. I do not have a match there. All right, let's flip over this one here. What letter do I have? L says, oh. And I have this really beautiful owl. Do I have a match here? No, unfortunately I do not. Owl starts with the O sound and O is the L, so no match there. All right, friends, I'm gonna go ahead and stop sharing my screen so we can review what we've talked about together. We started with our leaf kindness activity. Make sure you put your leaves back outside to brighten someone's day. Then we talked about um, all the things that we uh, have said here before uh, to help us get ready to learn at school. Today, we focused on calm down strategies. Then we reviewed all of our letter sounds. We did a warm up that helped us to pick out rhymes and come up with rhyming words and pick out our beginning and ending sounds and words. And then we played some games. We played I Spy and we played a matching game where we tried to match letter cards and pictures that match the same sounds. Do you think that you could make a game of your own at home? I bet you could come up with your own I Spy game and draw pictures. Or maybe you could come up with a matching game too. You could play concentration with your matching game to flip them over and find the matches. Or maybe you could play with a grown up or a sibling. We would love to see your games that you come up with at home and send them in to the nine PBS stations so that we can see your hard work. I am so proud of you, friends. Thank you so much for all your hard work. I'll see you next time. Bye. possible with support of Bank of America, Dana Brown Charitable Trust, Emerson, and viewers like you.